What's up guys, as you can see we are in the kitchen today and I am going to try and determine whether or not kingfish is actually good to eat. I know a lot of people say that really kingfish is only good to eat smoked. Well, I don't have a smoker and I just wanted to see if there was a different way of eating kingfish and so I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to prepare it today and see if at the end of this video whether or not it actually tastes any good. So make sure you stick around, I think you're going to be surprised with the results of this video. So I'm going really easy with this recipe. I just have a few ingredients here. And really, if you want your own fish fry, you can just go to Publix or whatever supermarket and get Zatarain's fish fry. But I'm a cheapo, so I just put some all-purpose flour and some cayenne pepper, salt, pepper, garlic powder. And I'm gonna mix it up. And that is going to be what we end up dipping our fish in. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to fill this bowl up with buttermilk and we are going to soak the kingfish in the buttermilk for about 30 minutes to let it soak up. That way we can dip it in here. And then you pour the buttermilk in here. Ooh, my, my, my. Okay, I'm just gonna put the kingfish in there. Okay, well, we're gonna just do the best what we got. All right guys, so I am going to just leave this sitting in the buttermilk for, like I said, 30 minutes. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is stir up my little dip concoction. You don't have to do this if you don't want. You can just buy some Zatarans from the store. Um, but I kind of enjoy making my own little concoction and this is out of stuff we already had at the house so I didn't have to spend money on it and that is also a bonus. So I'm just gonna give it a nice little stir. All right, so that's pretty much stirred up. I'm just gonna wait about 15, 20 minutes and then I'm gonna heat up the oil and then whenever Alexa tells me it's time, we're going to start to dip that in here. Now, like I was saying earlier, guys, a lot of people say that kingfish is really not that great to eat, but this video is gonna prove whether or not it's good because this is about the freshest you could ever get your kingfish. I caught it about three or four hours ago and it's been on ice ever since. If you wanna see how I caught that kingfish, make sure you look in the description down below because I will leave a link to that video as well. Um, and we cleaned it today, so this is about as fresh as kingfish as you can get. Alrighty guys, so got my vegetable oil here. Gonna go ahead and just turn this to medium heat. Gonna let this heat up and then we are going to dip our mackerel. We're gonna dip our kingfish into here and then we're gonna put it on a separate plate. I'm gonna get it all dipped and then we're gonna do an actual second dip which is something I learned from Landshark Off, which is something I learned from Landshark Outdoors. That's what makes it give it that really nice crunch on the outside. Alrighty guys, so this is where it can actually get a little messy, but I'll try and make this not messy. Fish has been soaking the buttermilk for 30 minutes. Gonna take this, dip it in here. Once it's nice, once it's got a nice even coat, I'm gonna lay on here. And then once I have all the pieces coated, we're gonna do it again. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll show you a little bit of the process. Now the key is to just make sure you get a nice even coat. And you don't want to try, you don't want to hold the fish too long after you take it out of the batter because it'll start wiping off that nice even coat. Alrighty guys, once the oil is hot enough, you will just literally take your nugget And dip it in there. Mm. 
I'm gonna go ahead and let those fry up and see how they turn out. Alrighty guys, so once you see that it is starting to turn a little bit golden brown, flip it. Be very careful because depending upon how well the coating stuck to the meat, it could fall off. Um, and then you'll just cook it for another few minutes until you start seeing it really get that nice golden brown color. Just kind of like that right there. And then you take it and sit it on the wire racks, let it cool, and then we will do a quick taste test here to see, see how good it actually tastes and whether or not it is. Alrighty guys, this is the final product. We're gonna let it cool and then we are going to test out the fish and I will give you my final thoughts on it. Hey guys, moment of truth. This is the first time tasting it. This is fried kingfish. Let's see what it tastes like. Honestly, it's not bad. I would say if this was a little bit of a smaller nugget, it'd be really good. It does have some fishy flavor still. So if you're into that, it might be a really good option for you. But if I had to give you my final thoughts, even catching it today, freezing it today, cooking it today, it's still really fishy not something that I'm a fan of. So yes, I think you can make kingfish taste good, but for me, I don't really think I am going to keep any more kingfish just because I'm not a fan of the fishy flavor. But if you want a really easy recipe and one that still tastes pretty good with a very mild fish flavor the day that you catch it, try this recipe out. I think you'll really enjoy it. Alrighty guys, hope you liked that video. If you wanna see more like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you did find this video informational and interesting, make sure to hit that like button. And until the next one, I hope you're able to get out in the kitchen and catch and then cook some fish.